Welcome back to the channel, fat boys. Today I got the 2022 Electric Glide Standard in front of me, which a lot of people may be asking, why do I have this bike in front of me? And because I kind of want to bring awareness to you guys that this is the touring platform on a budget, man. This is an amazing bike for the price. You're getting on the touring platform at the lowest price possible. I know so many people that go into Harley Davidson dealerships wanting to get a street glide, but it's just a little bit out of their budget. So what's the next best thing you can do? A lot of people start looking at soft tails, but even that may still be out of the price range. So what is going to work for them is potentially an electric glide standard. So I'm standing in front of Black Bear Harley Davidson in Withfield, Virginia. They are allowing me to come and ride these bikes today. I want to again, I want to give a huge shout out to Black Bear. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to come and ride these bikes and test ride all of them. It is so amazing. Thank you guys so much. So let's go ahead and hop a leg on over and we can go over everything on this bike. But before I hop on over, I just very important thing to kind of point out is for a lot of people, you do have these standard bags. They're not the stretch bags. So that is kind of good because then when you do end up doing a new exhaust, you're not going to have a massive cutout out there when you're missing an exhaust if you do a two into one. I'm five foot 11 with a 32 inch inseam weighing about 240 pounds. And you can see my legs very comfortably are flat footing. This bike is very comfortable. My arms are very comfortable. It feels like I can go for hours in this position. Feels absolutely amazing. So the reason why this is a little bit more of a budget bike, especially on the touring platform, is because you're not getting the radio. You're not getting the speaker system. There are some speakers already in here, but there's no radio to go along with it. So th there are options here where you are getting the baseline touring motorcycle at an affordable price really you have your fuel here you have your speedometer here you have your tachometer here and you have even have your battery gauge here which is super nice we can go ahead and give this bike some power you have your kill switch you have your on switch but you also have to put it into ignition there we go we see the needles moving then you have your hazards button you see them going we can stop that you have your ignition you have your traction control which we can turn on and off have a horn <laughs> sounds a lot like a car horn damn that's a loud horn high beams flashers you even have for right here you have a your odometer but then you have a little circular thing to go through your menu options trip a trip b your range the time and a couple other options there you have your left indicator right indicator push in to cancel again they are automatically canceling and you even have cruise control you push in to turn on set it to reset you can push up to set push down and then that's also how you adjust your speed while using it you push in to turn it off and so this bike does come with a pretty big gas tank nice and comfortable you're also only on a solo seat so you're not going to have your passenger seat you also don't have passenger pegs on there so it's a little bit more budget oriented let's go ahead and fire this up and get a listen there we go i love the sound of that touring platform and so the nice part about this bike and it is on the cheaper side too for the touring platform is that you do get a bat wing fairing on here so you're gonna have a lot of wind protection i got this windshield right here so i'm gonna easily be able to see and then i got all this wind protection taken off my chest and my face let's go on ahead and go and start talking about the bike got these nice floorboards man i feel like i'm in a lazy boy and this is the cheapest one damn man this feels super comfortable super easy to ride i feel like i'm kind of like motor man right now riding this bike ready to start doing some police work this bike is running the 107 so it's not the 114 but you know it still has one 107 is still plenty powerful and it also brings down the price a lot for those people looking at purchasing man i am so comfortable right now and i feel like this bike really does need to be on a lot more people's radar because i'm going 60 miles an hour i feel zero wind on me right now and it is so easy to be riding this bike i this is at a much lower price point in comparison to the street glide even the street glide standard and it's just it's it's a budget friendly bike and you're and this is such a base platform for a motorcycle it allows you to do whatever the hell you want to this bike you're going to be able to make any modifications you want a lot of modifications i should say and still probably come under 
price of a brand of a standard street glide at the price difference you would probably even be able to get a stereo system and a stage one on this bike and you would still probably come under the price of a regular street glide and no one would ever freaking notice except for the 107 which is people just comparing sizes you know what i mean so if don't worry about the size you're still gonna be able to go plenty far and it's just this bike is carving up these corners nice and well it leans super easily it does what it needs to do without fussing and which is something nice you don't want to be struggling to ride especially on a touring bike you want to do your distance and not have to think about it and man with these floorboards i literally feel like i'm sitting in almost a lazy boy right now these handlebars are maybe just a little bit low for me but it's that's not the end of the world they just come and they are in a very nice relaxed position the clutch feels nice and smooth the braking feels good on this bike the shifting feels good everything has a really nice clunk no one likes the soft mushy shifting you want to be able to feel when you have a solid shift and it's just it always feels nice when you do man i don't feel any wind on my chest or my face which is kind of crazy i'm so used to that so all of you guys out there looking at street glides i don't know maybe you should start looking at electric glides these are pretty good bikes especially for the price you'd be able to get so much more with your money wise and do so much more that all of you street glide boys want to do to separate yourself from the from the pack so it might be worth looking into engine braking feels real good on this bike nice and smooth go let's get on the interstate since this is a torn bike plenty of power already up to highway speeds I'm personally getting a little bit of buffeting in the helmet but that could just be because of the windshield size and my helmet size a whole bunch of other factors so it's a little annoying for me right now but that's not the fault of the bike that's literally just of me so if that does happen to you you may just have to change out the windshield which at the price is very easy to do even with the bat wing fairing i do feel a little bit of like push and pull here and there as people talk about but it's not that bad actually with the fairing being mounted to the handlebars you could potentially feel some movement especially from semis like right up there from the wind smacking the fairing in different places but it's very minimal it's not bad at all and this bike just feels planted and good so if you're looking to tour across the country and you're looking at doing it at a price a cheap price point even hands-free th this is the bike if you're wanting a brand new bike so you could go across country and just ride it at the cheapest price point this is your bike this is amazingly cheap amazingly priced and amazingly stable on the highway i i would be very tempted to buy this bike even myself just as purely a long distance hauler if my road king special were to ever become a performance bike some other things i did forget to mention while we were at the parking lot is that there's even all these little cubbies right in here you got some cubbies right in there you can put all your gadgets and even some sunglasses in these right in here along with the bags right behind you so there's plenty of storage on this bike yeah man this bike just feels easy and planted and no fuss at all it's a simple bike there's not much of a wow factor with it unless it's really going to be your first time bike don't recommend it as a first time bike but for those that are just really want it as their first time bike it, it, you're going to have a wow factor because it is your first time bike but it's it's not a bike that's going to make you <gasps> gasp in awe and have all of these amazing things but it's it, it it's a good bike it really is at the price point you can't go wrong with this so let's hop back on over to the dealership and i'll give my final thoughts on the bike she's a beaut she's an amazing stable fun motorcycle she doesn't have much of a wow factor but you know what she gets the job done you want to go cross country at an extremely low price from harley davidson on a brand new bike this is it this feels 
great. So who is this bike for? This bike is for the person that is looking for a street glide, but they don't really have the budget in order to actually get the street glide that they're really wanting. So this is really the street glide on a budget bike, which is so many people out there. They just want to finance the extra thousands of dollars that they don't really need. You're able to do so much with this bike. It's a bare bones bike. If you are looking for the touring frame, if you're looking for the amazing appeal of the Batwing fairing, if you're looking for the Harley Davidson badge, if you're looking to just be on a touring bike from Harley, this is it. So if you like this video, make sure you guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much, Black Bear Harley David Davidson again. And if you aren't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you ring that bell notification. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.